क्लास थ्री सब्जेक्ट साइंस चैप्टर वन लिविंग एंड नॉन लिविंग थिंग्स पार्ट वन दिस इज योर ई वी एस बुक इन्वायरमेंटल अवेयरनेस बुक गेस द आंसर सो लेट्स प्ले अ गेम आई एम अ नेचुरल थिंग विच गिवस यू लाइट एंड हीट कैन यू गेस द आंसर Yes it's sun I am a man made thing have four legs and you use me to sit on The answer is chair So we have played the game but do you know these two words natural thing and man made man made thing we have used in this puzzle Can you tell me why we are using these words and what are natural things and what are man-made things? So in this chapter we will be studying about natural things and man-made things. We will be studying about living things and non-living things. Natural things Natural things are the things which are gifted to us by nature. or we can say which are made by nature like sun river tree moon these all things are gifted to us by god so we call them natural things what are man made things man made things itself this term is telling that the things which are made by men like house table chair pencil these things are made by men so we call them man made things natural things may be living or non living but man made things are always non living things now again we must be having a question in our mind that what are living things and what are non living things so let's proceed what are living things living things are the things that can breathe that can die that can feel that can reproduce that can move can eat living things can grow in this picture you can see various stages of growth of humans example of living things are humans plants animals now we will come to know about what are non living things non living things are the things that cannot breathe that cannot die they can be replaced or can be repaired if broken but we cannot say that they have been died so non living things cannot die they cannot feel they cannot reproduce non living things cannot eat because they don't require energy to do any work non living things cannot move to move they need the help of living things so they cannot move on their own non living things cannot grow like table balloon moon kites etc now we will talk about the features of living things first feature is all living things move on their own we have seen animals we have seen humans moving from one place to another but the question is that plants are living things but they cannot move from one place to another plants are living things but they cannot move from one place to another but their leaves and flowers move and grow in the direction of the sun if we will take the example of sunflower it faces towards the sun only 
Now if we'll take the another example, we take the another example of morning glory. Morning glory blooms when the sun rays falls on it. As soon as the sun rays go away, that is during evening when the sun sets, the flower again will close its petal. And when the sun rays again fall in the morning time, the flower will start blooming. So this is how the plant show their movement. We, if we talk about the animals, most of the animals walk and run. Birds and bats fly. Fish uses fins to swim. Now we are saying that few animals can move, walk few swim from one place to another F few animals fly but the question is why do animals move animals move because of water they need water to drink they need food to eat they need shelter to live in and they need to protect themselves from their enemies so they move from one place to another but if we will talk about non-living things, they cannot move. They need the help of living things to move. Second feature is living things can grow. As you all know, from a baby, we become adult. Like you can see your photograph also when you were a small kid and now you are in class third. You can compare your photographs and can see growth in you. We grow in shape and size and we grow in height and weight. Now if I will take the example of balloon. If we will blow the air into the balloon, the balloon will start increasing in shape as well as in size. So can we say that the balloon is showing growth? No, the balloon is not showing the growth. Because when we release out the air from the balloon, the balloon will regain its original shape. It shows that the balloon doesn't grow. Non-living things do not grow. For example, balloon, sun, pencil, table, chair, etc. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you have understood the features of living things and not living things. Thanks for watching.